morning, loving people. As you can see, I'm in a good mood today. Today is the day that we are going to meet Baby Boy. Hopefully you can hear me because everyone's got like a monitor on. I am currently on the monitor. I've come out of the shower. I was even dressed. I didn't even get to cream and they were like, we need to put, oh, we need to put you on the monitor because, you know, my induction starts today. I shaved my legs, I shaved my armpits. But I feel really, really good. I have daddy helping me cream because my body gets so dry. Well, I just, if I just leave it, like, let me show you my husband. Hello, my loving husband. Look at baby J's dad. He's creaming my feet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so he's making sure that I'm moisturized so then by the time I'm off this machine, which is going to probably be in the next half an hour, 20 minutes, I'm not extremely dry. But yeah, so woke up this morning around 5 a.m., 5 30 actually, and the first thing that they did was take my blood. So the night stuff took my blood, so that's the, in fact, that's the beginning thing of the induction. If you don't take your blood, then they can't start to the induction. So they took my blood, and the midwife, because obviously she knows I've been here since Monday. So she was like, hooray, she came, she was like, hooray. And she's like, why are you sleeping? And I'm like, so I'm sorry. She was like, oh, I'm more excited for you. Like, today's the day. Like, I'm here to take your blood, because I don't want no one to delay your process. So I'm here taking your blood. And we're all like, she's no, this midwife, her name is Cindy. She's like, for you. I'm amazing. She's so lovely. But she's gone home now. She's like, she's stuff. But anyway. So she took my blood, and after that, this thing you put me on the monitor, she did, didn't it? Yeah. yeah, she put me on the monitor, and then after that, they did, she asked me if I had any contractions, and blah, 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 nope. And then um, they came and checked my blood pressure and everything, and thank you, babe. And then, yeah, that was basically my morning from 5.30 until now. That's what's been done. So I didn't really catch what the mid my midwife today in Virginia. She has just put me on the monitor again just to double check that everything's okay. Yeah, so um yeah, she's just making sure that everything is okay. And then I didn't really catch what she was saying. But I think she said that as soon as the doctor comes round and gives them like or to consult with someone and give them like how exactly things should go down then they will start she said something about at the night if you call room downstairs but downstairs is the delivery seat so i'm guessing because the whole when they put the balloons in and the contractions that takes around a few hours six hours or a few hours i guess it would be night anyways I don't know. I don't know how these things work, but as soon as they start updating me, I will update you and it will be part of my journey today. This is my lady for our delivery vlog. I'm gonna cry.
So we ended up putting the second leaf of the gel and oh my god, it felt like pepper. Like it felt like someone inserted pepper into it. It felt like, oh, mm -mm. like compared to what the first lady did, what the second lady did was something else. Like literally, as soon as she put it in, I felt instant rupture. Like. It just felt like needles, pepper, and a lot of pressure. Like, imagine all these things mixed together, just in your abdominal area. Oh my god, it was so painful. And within a few minutes of her doing that, I was in some sort of active contractions, I would say, but it didn't really last. It was like five minutes. And until now, they've disappeared. This man says he's losing his appetite <laughs> because when he sees me having contractions, he's making it feel like my son is one step closer to coming and he's getting excited that he's going to meet his baby boy. That was 43 seconds of pain. <laughs> Jesus. Now, guys, the contractions are coming on intensely. Like, I don't think you understand the pain that I'm going through. Like, it's, it's, it's no longer a joke. Like, before I was playing games, Yesterday I was even thinking that I was feeling anything because I really wanted to feel this. But now I'm even asking myself, so why was I crying yesterday to be feeling this? Like, it's hurting. But it feels like the reason why. No, okay. How can I explain it? It feels like a really bad period pain. Like, you know when you're on your period and the cramping is hard and you just want to lay in bed with a water bottle? That's how it feels. So, so it's not to be like, oh my god, I can't take this and I'm cry, I'm gonna die. But it, it is it is a lot, it is a lot. Especially because it just comes out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
That's what she says. I am currently in acting labor. <laughs> Yay! They're gonna do a sweep, and I pray that that sweep pops my waters in like 10 minutes maximum. Mm -hmm. 10 That's minutes great. maximum. Service. Yeah. Well, if after how many times they put the gel on, it must be feeling like like right. nothing, yeah. absolutely nothing. So this thing has told them that I put contractions and very very regular ones. Which means I've been knowing that anyway from like whatever time because they've been coming on. But I feel like this is more closer than the other ones, much more closer than the other ones. I cannot wait. So it looks like there could be a chance that baby boy is coming today. <laughs> Mommy is saying that he's definitely coming today. That's why she's come today. So that was like, why are you coming today? Like, you're wasting your time. He's begging me. He's not going to be born. Whatever. But she says no. He called me. Apparently, he called her. And he said he's coming today. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> How often do you do? How often do you do? Sometimes you watch, sometimes you don't. Why are you not wearing your pet stockings? No, no, I'm not wearing it. You can't swim. Yeah, they can't be up to wear it because it's swollen. That's what they're doing because you said it's because you're very swollen. I'm not going to tell you to wear it. Yeah. When do you look at it? You need to wear it. He needs to get all that. Heels are such wonderful. Come towards me a little bit. That's good. Oh, and just bear with me. Okay, this might hurt. Yeah. Oh, I'll throw it in one to me. I'm going to put lots of gel. Uh, it's hardly as bad as what we did to me. Just put that a little bit for you. Welcome. For me to give the sweep, you have to relax and let the legs go flat. Because you are contracting, we can't give you custom. 
So all we can do is to try and break this water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My feet might have helped, I don't know. They might not have, but if we can get him to do further sweeps. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Contractions were every two minutes, like two and a half minutes, three minutes and like mm. I ended up falling asleep and then daddy came and bought me food and I had to force myself to eat some contractions. So now, now is night shift, yeah, night staff shift time. And the midwife that I had yesterday was she seen me and she's thinking, why is this not going along? So she suggested that we use gasoline. I can't lie, but if I didn't use Gaffney, what she did to me there, 
Because even with the gas in air, they mm-hmm. so imagine this ass it. So that means, no, no. Baby boy is still stuck in there. He's still holding him tight. He's not trying to. So mm-hmm. Jeremy, when are you coming? Tomorrow, yeah? Tomorrow? <laughs> just in a few hours. Say, Dad, I'm coming in the morning. He's not trying to sleep anytime soon. So what? Oh, sorry, that, Dad, yeah. What that midwife just said, she said that when she put her fingers up his head, yeah, it's so close to the glitch. No, she said it's proper on what they're trying to fuck. Is it? She said she felt his hair. Baby, I wasn't listening oh, to you. Oh, and she told us. Oh, I was not. I was not listening. I was thinking about my penis. <laughs> 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 she told me baby boy yeah. has a lot The way you was grabbing me like. She told me baby boy has a lot of hair Which has really got me Because I've been saying this for a that my baby's bold because mm-hmm. I haven't had like heart, apparently when you're a baby, so like, you get heart then. I haven't felt zero at heart because I'm like, oh, I don't know, no baby. She told me that my baby boy has a lot of hair. <laughs> what? You know, I, I, I used to have long hair, but it's quite done. I shaved it. Trust me, I used to.
So I've just had all the doctors come in and speak to me about what exactly is going to go on, the fact that they're going to put in a hormone drip to stop my contraction, and yeah, that after from that bit, from when they put that on, there's no more eating for me at all. Subway, she's at Subway right now, she's going to buy me something to eat, and then I'm going to eat quickly. But honestly guys, now I feel a little bit scared of the pain that I'm about to go through. Like, I'm not, I'm not looking, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not looking forward to the pain, if I'm being honest. Because I've been offered it every year or twice. They must be painful. Uh-huh. What is that thing about to do? But anyways, my camera's about to die. Yeah. Um, this is doing, um, I'm going to charge the, the thing here a little bit. I'll give you a lot of up because it's about to die. I can't, I'm trying to give you a rush update.